Hello, this is Kirsten Larson, author of Woodwire Wings, Emma Lily and Todd Invents an Airplane. And today I'm coming to you with another nonfiction or STEM book review. Today I am looking at the history book, Fight of the Century. This is um, Alice Paul Battles Woodrow Wilson for the Bo Vote, a book by Ro Barb Rosenstock illustrated by Sarah Green. And this book is uh, perfect for the 100th anniversary of the women's um, suffrage movement, the 100th anniversary of the ratification of the 19th Amendment. One thing I really like about this book, um, a lot of biographies that just tell the story in a really straightforward way can get pretty boring to be honest. So the interesting thing as a writer um, and somebody who likes to read these stories is that um, Barb Rosenstock really sets this up as almost a boxing match and you can see that here um, with these illustrations of Alice Paul in her boxing gloves and in this corner Woodrow Wilson and those are that's the terminology that Barb Rosenstock uses um, she kind of gives Alice Paul stats over here Thomas Woodrow Wilson stats over there lists Alice Paul as the challenger and Woodrow Wilson as the champion and kicks off the book with uh, this phrase um, in this corner standing five feet six inches 100 pounds wearing long skirts and a large brimmed hat women's rights leader Alice Paul in this corner standing five feet 11 inches weighing 170 pounds wearing a wool suit and oval glasses the president-elect of the United States Woodrow Wilson. The fight determines whether the women of the United States can vote. Folks, the winner changes the country forever. And so Barb Rosenstock uses that framework throughout the entire um, text using markers like round one, round two, etc., etc. Now, the other thing that I really like about this book is that Barb Rosenstock doesn't sugarcoat anything. The struggle for women's suffrage was not pretty. Women were choked, women were beaten. Alice Paul um, went on a hunger strike and was force fed. Um, there were a lot of really ugly ways that women were treated during the fight for women's suffrage. And Barb Rosenstock doesn't shy away from that, but she tells it in a way um, that it's appropriate for elementary age students to hear the story. So for example, um, I'll just find a page. Um, I was going to look, oh, here we go. Um, in Woodrow's Corner, she's going to talk about some people who are fighting against the suffragist. Soldiers and sailors tear suffrage banners to tatters. Small boys throw eggs and rotten tomatoes. Grown men push and choke the women. How dare they bother the president in wartime? The silent sentinels never fight back with their fists. They let themselves be dragged off. They always return. Um, and Rosenstock and Sarah Green also show um, Alice Paul's hunger strike. Um, it says they shine bright lights in her eyes, won't let her sleep, and say she is crazy. Um, 150 suffragists go to prison. Some are choked and beaten by guards. Other join Alice's hunger strike. Uh, so from a storytelling perspective, using this framework of a fight, a boxing match, um, this is really brilliant. It's also really brilliant because it shows the true cost of everything that um, women sacrificed and went through to get the 19th Amendment ratified. Um, there is an author's note with real pictures and additional information. So in terms of introducing um, students or kids at home to the fight for women's suffrage, this is a fantastic book. I highly recommend it.